So I'm here with Emma Frost, who is part of the London Legacy Development Corporation. Uh, we've just finished a session at the Olympic Park here in East London, uh, dedicated to the sharing economy and how the Olympic Park itself can be better utilised moving forwards and integrated with the local community. Uh, Emma, thanks for joining us. Hi, it's nice to be here. So if we can begin by understanding the purpose behind today's session, uh, why is it you felt you had to you had to hold this today? Well, the aim of today was really to bring together um, a lot of different movers and shakers within both the sharing economy and the regen world and actually the proper kind of private sector corporate world as well as the governance and government world to really understand um, where the sharing economy is going, some good examples of how it's working and specifically tie that down to the Olympic Park and all the opportunities that we've got here to use it as a platform to do regen differently and to think about the role that the sharing economy can actively play in that. So we had a number of people here who attended, probably about a hundred attendees. Uh, what were their backgrounds? They were really mixed and that's exactly what we wanted. So we needed a couple of kind of leading um, doers, if you like, from the sharing economy. So we had quite a few different um, initiatives that were presented from Good Gym, Echo, Farm Drop, Move Bubble, examples like that, that are really practical models of the sharing economy in action. Um, and then we also had some government kind of um, policies setters and speakers if you like uh, from Nesta cabinet office um, and a lot of other government professionals that are really interested in understanding how the real world is shaping the sharing economy and what they might have to do to help support that and then we had quite a lot of private sector input as well so um, different developers and um, commercial players who are starting to see that actually if they're interested in the triple bottom line they probably have a way they need to engage with the sharing economy too but they're not quite sure what that is yet so we had a number of speakers that you've uh, you've just mentioned there. Uh, what was the thinking behind their selection? A lot of them have a real practice in East London, and that's what we were trying to showcase here, the fact that um, localisation um, and local economy and local networks and local collaboration is a big part of what can make the sharing economy really successful, harnessing that kind of local energy. Um, so we wanted to use East London as the local context and give some really practical illustrations of where that's working well. So the Good Gym started in Tower Hamlets, Echo started here at the Olympic Park um, and the other examples have roots in East London too. So it's about how we can use them to showcase it helps if it starts somewhere and really grows a local network and then it has the ability to scale and move and grow. Uh, and what is your vision for uh, the Olympic Park moving forwards with a fully integrated sharing economy? Our vision is really to provide um, a best practice example of what urban regeneration really can be and part of that is, as you said at the beginning, really understanding what it means to involve and engage local communities so there is a direct sense of local ownership and local benefit and a big part of that is pulling together all of the strands of urban change and investment whether it's physical environmental uh, social or economic and I think that the sharing economy shares a lot of that rhetoric and, and works in that sphere so it's really interesting to start to unpick and explore what the sharing economy can do in terms of supporting best practice regeneration and redefining the way that we do things and how we involve different partners and different players in achieving some of those aims. So where can, where can people find out more about how they can get involved with the London Legacy Development Corporation? Best thing to do is visit our website, Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, um, .co.uk, um, and talk to us. We've got all our contact details on there. We're a really open development corporation. We want to do things differently. We want to have all the necessary conversations, and we want to hear ideas and opportunities. So we would welcome emails, telephone calls, to tell us more about what your niche is or what your idea is and how we might be able to support that. Emma, thanks for joining us. You're welcome.